Alrighty, so we have a very special show today. We are doing openings. I don't know if you count them as boxes if they're bundles, but we're planning on doing some standard uh, sealed product opening for Magic the Gathering. Um, we have a bunch, and we're going to be opening a bunch. Um, that's why I have Frankie Soap. That, and she had better luck opening packs than I do. Like, she gets super uber mega like $25 to like $150 to like I think you pulled that Jace from no that was you that was all you what about the blood moon that was me yeah you pulled the blood moon and you pulled the $25 card from the mystery boosters mm -hmm. um I forget what it was but it was 25 bucks oh I have to grab and I forgot about it the true fits and the penny sleeves Okay. So I will be right back. I actually have to do that first. So I'll be right back. All right. So I am back. And I am tiny. But we are going to open some products. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. So we have a Throne of Eldraine bundle. We have a Theros Beyond Death bundle. Nobody can see it. So too far away. All right. So we have a Throne of Eldraine bundle. We have a Theros Beyond Death bundle. We have, and they're upside down if you put them out. Like, oh, it. Mm -hmm. it's it's we have a a chorus layer of the Balkina spot. It's not any bigger than the other one. I don't know why they call it. We have 2021, and we have Zendikar Rising. So, so what would you like to open first? I'm partial to Theros myself. You are partial to Theros. Okay, so you get the Throne of Eldrain. Alright, so Theros Beyond Death. So when you won that giveaway for the uh, Collector Booster, which Collector Booster did you get from... I'm not sure, to be honest. Oh, okay. Because I know you like Theros, but I thought it was Throne of Eldraine or something. Yeah, I think it was Throne of Eldraine. Because Ray, Ratio I'm did that sure. giveaway, and you got the uh, collector. That was nice. But it's yeah. been a while. It's yeah, been a long it has time. been a while. All right, so I also have a bunch of, you can kind of see behind me, a bunch of booster boxes. Lots and lots of big little tiny booster boxes. Be careful with the... With this and that? Yeah, in case you keep bumping that. I'm bumping this? No, my camera. Your camera? <laughs> yeah. I don't know how. Okay. Oh, wow. Now, I, I like Zendikar Rising because I like the dual lands. They're not real dual lands, but they are dual lands-ish because you can choose the color and they come out and, like, it's one or the other. And then it kind of locks unless you find a way to, like, bounce it back and then, like, change the color. But other than that, like, they're dual lands. Like, they're, they're, they're pretty cool dual lands. Because um, you get to choose one or the other. They are actually coming out with more dual, dual lands in the new set that is coming out because I think there's only like five or six combinations. I'll use the, the scissors to poppy. Yeah, probably. Be a little easier. Be delicate. Don't, don't, don't hurt the box. But we will, we will do that. And you can take your time. We're not in a rush. I'm going to cut into my, my uh, in the car rising. Mm. Very delicate. Though. Very delicate. Like, yeah, you see people with like active blades and like <laughs> pocket knives and all that. I'm, I'm yeah, my, more, my clumsiness. I'm like, there's right, no way. I'm more delicate with the product. <laughs> I, I, I would not trust myself. 
I'm surprised though, because they just do regular, like, plastic on these. The booster boxes, if you notice, they actually have the little wizard and the coat stuff on the outside of them. I'm surprised they don't do it for the bubbles too, because somebody could actually like take it apart and swap stuff inside there. Not that they would, or that they should, but I love the little boxes that come with them. Like I. <laughs> I have a bunch of these boxes already, um, but they're not in here. I think they're actually out on the dining room table. And these, of course, I love for the little dice. Yes, them, yeah. yes. I, I, I think we kind of lost a couple of them. Off. Probably. But I wanted to ask you, because I want to do giveaways. Do you want to pull a pack from the bundles, or do you want to pull a pack from the booster boxes for giveaways? I don't know. You don't know? I don't we'll know. just go ahead and open all of the ones on the phone. But I know what dice I'm using from now on. Really? Yeah, like that, that. One, that one's a really Yeah, nice. look at this one. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty, too, actually. That that's they're, they're pretty both, cool, right? They're both really pretty. That's, that's pretty neat. These feel a lot more substantial than dice from past. Right, they're, yeah. They're well, little... the other thing is that's really neat is... You is didn't click it. <laughs> Our cat knows how to open doors. Our cat can jump and open doors is magical. We get a videotape that we'll, we'll share it with you. But these dice are really significant compared to the other dice. I don't think yeah. there's any small ones in here, but no. these are really nice. But these are I really like the hefty. Yeah. They're really and the hefty. other thing is the the bundles used to be called like fat packs and they used to only be six. So, I mean, the difference between getting six of these for the price that you used to pay about the same price versus getting 10 of them, like if that's a good deal. Like, it's a great deal. Like, you really should buy bundles. And the bundles, some of them have come down in price, too. Because I know Zendikar Rising, when it first came out, like pre-release or whatever, it was higher. It's actually come down in price. So you actually get a pretty good bargain. And the neat thing about it is, did you read the back of the bundles? No, I did not. The bundles come with alternative art premium foil. Mine comes with a Charix, the Raging Isle card. Charix, this one, kind of pretty, ain't it? and mm -hmm. it's foil. And then it comes with 20 premium foil and 20 regular basic lands. So you're actually getting 40 lands. That's this fast. 40 lands. Wow, that's I think nice. these are the these are the regular. 20 regular, and then you got 20 foil lands. These are all uh, foil. Yeah. Like you could you could literally not open those foils and just keep them like that if you wanted to keep them. And then the land, of course, too. And these are Zendikar lands. Those are kind of cool. Yeah. And then you get the big dice, the oversized, oversized dice. Yeah, that's and that you get oversized dice. Two nice. Referee cards. Referee cards. Reference. I'm making a <laughs> it's a referee card. Um, and it says standard, the standard format, use 60, blah, blah, draft booster, 40, commander, blah, blah. And it's got some good information on here. It really does. You can read those cards if you want. So they're really neat. Mm -hmm. It has the, the tap on tap and all of that. Yeah. And new players, they may not know. Like, I, I I say, depending on how you get into the game and what you want to play, um, the bundles are the way to go, in my opinion. If you just want to start with one format and you just want to play with a couple friends, like, you can do drafting with these with a few friends. Like, they're really nice to do drafting with. And if you actually want to get into, like, standard tournaments, you'd probably need, like, one of each bundle. Like, all of these are standard. The the Theros, the Ikora, the Core 2021, Theros Beyond Death, and Zendikar Rhyme. Right? So, like, if we wanted to build a couple standard decks to play each other, we would, we would buy these. And the bundles range in price depending on where you're purchasing them from. But say mm, $30 a piece, like, you know, you may pay give or take $200 with shipping for the total of them. So, you know, you could make, well, I don't know, quite a few good standard decks. And it depends on how aggressive you want your decks to be and what cards you get in the pack, whether you need to purchase more. I mean, you could very likely open all of these and probably make like six, seven decent decks to play, whether it be for fun or whether it be for tournament play. Or whether it be for Friday Night Magic. Right now, there's not a lot of Magic the Gathering going on in the stores um, unless they're following like a really strict COVID rule. And I'm not sure if Wizards of the Coast is allowing a lot of the stores to play 
Um, we, we don't have any local stores where we're at right now that are open yeah. because of COVID. Um, there are some in Vegas, and I know they're selling product. Uh, I'm not sure what type of tournaments and stuff they have going on right now because I haven't researched it, um, if they are or not. But uh, if you can follow COVID rules and wear a mask and stuff, you know, we, we live in the same household, so it's easy for us to play. Mm -hmm. um, and we've been pretty much under quarantine since <laughs> a year before anything occurred with, with <laughs> what was going on. We're kind of, yeah. But these bundles are fantastic for beginners. I they mean, are just... fantastic for beginners, yeah. I would definitely recommend them if you want actual cards. And there's different things that you can do. Like, you can collect the bundles unopened, and they have good resale value uh, throughout the years. They may be a higher price when they're pre-released. They may drop down in price, which is a good bargain. You may get them better for, like, you know, Black Friday sales or Amazon Prime Day sales or special sales with, like, mm -hmm. TCG or, you know, whatever. Um, you may get them at a discounted rate and then not open them, and they increase in value over the years. Um, the packs themselves, if you open them, you could save the packs as they are, and they get, you know, resale value and higher resale value over the years as a collector just for collecting unopened packs. Then when you open the packs and you get cards that are rare and uncommon, the, the price of them increases depending on what they are and what they're used for, whether it be Commander or whether it be, you know, Standard or whether you mix and match it in Pioneer or Historic or a different type of format. But um, it's the Magic the Gathering made for ages 13 and up, and it's a lot of fun to play. And we play it all the time. I've been playing since 1997, 1997 in tournaments. Uh, Frankie's been playing since probably, what, 2000-something? Yeah, probably about 2006, 2007. I was thinking 2012, but I think that's when I tried to introduce you to tournaments. Yeah. Yeah, 2012, I think, was the first time we went for tournaments. But I really love these boxes. Yeah, they're I, nice. I think those are the boxes and the dice are, are little extra things that you get um, yeah. with the bundle that you don't necessarily get in other ones. And they actually have, like, really cool stuff inside, too. Um, a little discovery of some little, little, you know, get up for adventure. So that's kind of cool. And then... It also has, if you if you open this, which I usually don't, but if you open this, there's like mm -hmm. art inside here. Yeah, well. the, the art's really nice. And, and I think some of these I did, and like we mm -hmm. had them on the wall of our old house, and then I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I enjoyed them. that. I think I left them on the wall and moved out. Yeah, I think so too. Unfortunately. But, but very cool. And then you get these little boxes too. You can put tokens in it, you can use it for like, you know, to carry a couple bags. <laughs> if you wanted to. Um, and then, you know, I do recommend if you're playing and you have the money to do it, um, you get, you know, true fits if you want to double sleeve them and then card sleeves to protect them if you're playing. Um, I usually have card sleeves that I take to draft and tournaments and I, you know, sleeve my stuff real quick because I am a collector as well as a player and I don't want card damage. Um, and they have different varieties. They have uh, a bunch of different brands of deck protectors. And I can't really recommend one over the other. It's mostly personal preference, I would say. You agree? Yeah, I would agree. Um, I like Titans, mm -hmm. but the Titan inner sleeves are a little bit larger than regular sleeves. And I like that a lot for the foils, especially because they don't bend. They're a little bent uh, to begin with because they are foil. But you put them in the inner sleeves and the Titan sleeves are a little larger. They don't bend them any worse. And they already come manufactured slightly bent. Yeah. Um, and they kind of straighten them out, which is cool. And then the outer sleeves, Titan Shield, you would need because they're a little bit larger um, if you use Titan Shield inner sleeves. But if you use any other inner sleeves or any other True Fit type product, um, they fit typically in every other sleeve. So it really depends on your personal preference, which one you want to go with. Um, I think you like Dragon, Dragon Shields, and mm -hmm. I like Titan Sleeves. But it's personal preference, yep. um, and it's also color preference. It's also the feel and the texture, whether you like matte or not. But you know, I'm getting off the subject. Let's open the packs and see what we got. Right. Mm. 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 I'd like to see some codes. Is what I would like to see. That There's more nice. to every story. 
mtgstory.com mtgstory.com i didn't know it was. so this is a token this is an insect token and one of the decks that i use actually the deck that i use for standard right now creates insects i don't know if you use shoot form at all if anybody uses shoot form but you need insects first unless you have six lands out and then after you play shoot form with six lands in play it duplicates shoot form so i probably need like a million shoot form tokens too of course i can put a dice on it i need a thousand sided dice oh now that's pretty you need to buy me a thousand sided dice isn't that pretty? Wow, it is. Look at mine. Look at mine. Very nice. I love the full page lamp. Yeah, those are really nice. Most of the lands and things started out. Um, some people say, you know, proxy, no proxy. There's kind of like a debate on whether proxies are good or proxies are bad. But um, most of the proxy cards way back when, um, when people were proxying or altering art for land, uh, started doing full page and like the first ones with like a big symbol were portal land which really nice and now Wizards of the Coast is starting to do full page lands and they're really pretty and like even tokens they're like beautiful gorgeous gorgeous stuff I love all of the art I love the older art for Magic the Gathering most but the newer art is really cool all right so I have a pathway pathway so this is what I was talking about about the dual land it's not the same as the old school dual lands where you could choose one or the other, but the pathways, when you put them out, it comes out as either, this one comes out as red or white. So you can pick or choose whether you want it to be red or white That's when you play cool. it, and then it stays like that. Kind of like the jumpstart land, you know how I, I really love those, because you can choose. Well, these are one of the other. And that, of course, is gonna go into a true fit. Um, I'm gonna scan that for card value too. So, um, I have an Expedition Healer, I have a pyro bleh, Pyroclastic Helion, those are common, Expedition Skulker, I have a Might of Masura, a Royal Eruption, I've seen some of these when I play against other people, these are not cards that I know really like. Don't work Pack Beast, Mal, Mal here, they always make it a mouthful. Malkir Blood Priest. I have a Disenchant. Wow, they reprinted Disenchant in Zendikar Rising. Shepherd of Heroes. I have a Living Tempest. Wow, that's a lot of commons. Did I count like 30 commons in that? That's crazy. It's not really 30. But... So, Rock Slide Sorcerer is my uncommon. Attendant Healer is my another one of my uncommons. And then I have Ascendant Horn Beetle. And then my Pathway was my rare. So that's kind of nice. This is a nice pack. I like it already. Very nice. Go ahead with yours. You want me to read the whole thing? Read the whole thing. We're doing box All opening, righty. pack opening. I got a Sun Main Pegasus. Ooh. Eidolon of Philosophy. Barika's li li Libation. Libation. Omen of the Sun. Citizen Skirmisher. Nyxborn Seaguard. Thrill of Possibility, Nyxborn Colossus, Myers Grasp, Loathsome Chimera, Scottfos Maze Warden, <laughs> and then let's see, that was my first uncommon, I think, yeah. And then I have a Daxos Blessed by the Sun, uncommon, Nyx Herald, uncommon, and then Ashiok's Erasure was my rare. Ashiok's Erasure? Ooh, I don't even know how much it is. <laughs> I haven't been keeping up with the prices lately. But that is why I have this cool little thing. Somewhere. That is TCG app. You can scan the cards. And I can just kind of throw it down. And I scan it. $2.50. Wow, I figured that would be worth a little bit more than that. But that's not bad. That's not bad. Um, I am going to throw that in it because I don't want that to get damaged. No, that's a nice land, I gotta say. And I will probably play that a lot. And they will probably go way up in price with it being a dual land, in my opinion. We shall see. That's my opinion. I could be wrong. I could be right. I could be crazy. 
think the verdict is still out on that? Mm, no. Not so much? Not so much. <laughs> so, halfway. All right, and I'm going to scan my own comments. That is two cents. <laughs> that is five cents. That is ten cents. I'll do the comment to you just for the heck of it. Because you never know. Sometimes there are comments that are actually and you think they are. Probably not. But this is a newer set. The price will go up over time. And it also depends. It also depends on how often people play. The more they play and the more they add these to decks, the more the prices go. And it also depends on reprint later. Nothing special, but a lot of good playable stuff. A lot of good playable stuff. And this is a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. And my insect token is the most expensive item in the, no, 18 cents on my insect token. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of nice. I like both of those. It's kind of neat. Yeah. All right, so I don't know if I want to put that in a true fit. Probably not. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and scan your pack. Okay, here's the rare. Ooh, it's a rare. Wow. Ooh, that's a good one. 20 cents. <laughs> so, we got a four cent uncommon. We got a 56 cent uncommon. That's a little bit higher for us. And we got a two cent. Okay. All right. We got one. I love those cards with a lot of outside border. It's got like, the funky colors. That's mm -hmm. kind of nice. Yeah, they're neat. I don't know which set is my favorite set. I know you like the uh, Theros Beyond Death, but I do. Uh, those lands are beautiful. Yeah. 80 cents. I am going to shove that. Yeah, because I love those. You know, I think I will show you. I know it's not a whole method of value, but. Yeah, but those are some of my favorite cards. And the nice. insect token, I will probably play in a deck. I may throw that in a tree bit later. Human soldier. I sent. Alrighty. <laughs> so here is the Zeneca Hunt. Did I put your land in? I think I accidentally mixed your land with one. It's a good. <laughs> you are silly. Bunch more packs to open. Okay. Good. All right. It's the only card that I would use in the deck that I'm creating. Maybe the mountain. And another human soldier. Another human soldier. Yeah. Somebody's telling yeah. you you need to play white. Oh, that's a Plains. beautiful land. Yeah, Look at that. Wow. Gorgeous. That is gorgeous. I love those. Oh, let me, let me take this off. Those uh, Theros uh, lands are just gorgeous. So I got a Chain to Memory, a Blight Breath Catoblepus, Catoblepus, <laughs> Leonin of the Lost Pride, 
memory drain. Yeah, I'm not even going to try to pronounce this one. I'll just, just show you. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Ichthomorphosis. Yes, that's that's kind of cool. Though. That's the uh, term for all. It is a cool looking. Uh, Ichthyomorphosis, yeah. Okay. Aspect of Manticore. Nelia's forerunner. Witness of Tomorrows. Hyrax Tower Scout. Riptide Turtle. Ooh, the Triumph of Annex. That's my first uncommon. Vanishing Light. Destiny Spinner. And my rare is Archon of the Sun's Grace. Wow. The Archon is pretty good. Read what the Archon does. Archon of Sun's Grace. It is a creature that has flying and lifelink. Pegasus creatures you control have lifelink. Constellation. Whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, create a 2 2 white Pegasus creature token with flying. Nice. Yeah, so if you played white, you could like create Pegasus after Pegasus after Pegasus after Pegasus. That's Army kind of, of Pegasus. So you need a thousand Pegasus tokens. <laughs> nice. Like I need a thousand insect tokens. All right, so um, mine is the common Cascade Seer, Seer, Expedition Healer, Tormenting Voice. You're a little high there. Am I? Mm -hmm. Here? No. Here? Yeah, no. here? Yeah, right there. There. We got Hegra Constrictor. We got Adventure Awaits. We got a Tugju Snare Castoff. Sounds like a sandwich. <laughs> Deadly Alliance. Seagate. Banneret. Banneret. Is that a word? I guess it is a word now. Scale Dites. Cleric of Chill Depths. Rolling Regrowth. First uncommon. Sure Footed Infiltrate. Solidi, Solidi, Solindi, Solindi Vision, and then on the other side, Solindi Isle. These are kind of cool too with Zendikar. You have the choice of playing it as a land or playing it as an instant. Interesting. Yeah, a lot of dual sided. Some of the dual sided I wasn't really too keen on, but I did like the ones that were the ones that came with the wolves. That yeah. Were dual -sided. Those were really the cool. The werewolf parts. Right. And the ones where they did it where it was like side by side are kind of weird to me, but they play really well. And like these, I love a lot. The Zendikar, the way that they're doing it now, like I like those a lot. And then a Jace Mirror Mage. And that's a nice one. That's like a full art Jace oh, Mirror Mage. Oh, how pretty. That's a really yeah, pretty Jace cool. Mirror Mage. My buddy was going to give me one of these. He's like, hey, I got a bunch of those. You want me? I don't know if his was full page or regular. And then I have. One of the cards that I can write whatever I want on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I can make it like you know, Dr. Spock. Because he's a doctor. Yeah. He's a doctor, not a duck. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We know he's not a doctor. I just like messing with Frankie because she has that like nerd rage. And then I have. Ooh, pretty. Pretty land. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's a nice one. That Jace is pretty cool. The Jace is pretty cool, isn't it? It's kind of neat. All right, so I'm going to scan these. Mm -hmm. I'm going to scan the Jace first. It is dollar four. Dollar four. I'm going to throw that in an inner sleeve. If I can. I have a weirdo. All right, and then I'm going to grab my uncommons. Very delicately. And I'm going to scan. Oh. I have to remind me. It is four cents for the shirt. It is four five cents for that one. It is twenty nine cents for that one. That's not bad for uncommons. And then, uh, I'll let you rescan them all when we go to the collection. I think I just have them on regular scan, not collection. 
it's good to have the total collection list now because you can put it in a spreadsheet. Yeah, that is nice. They give me a lot of cool ideas for new deck ideas. It's $25 cents full art. And then this card. <laughs> $1,000. It's a block bonus. Yeah, see, these cards are meant to for you to write down so you can use it double face. That way it's got yeah, the magic gotcha. together and thing on the back. Yeah, of course. But if you put the dual dual face card in an inner sleeve, you can put them inside and pull them mm -hmm. out, or you can leave them out of the inner sleeve and pull them out of your deck protectors if you're using deck protectors. This is for people who are not necessarily using deck protectors or using clearance. Yeah. It's kind of new to because those do increase in value too, obviously. All right, so I'm going to scan. We have change. And memory drain is just awesome. Yeah. That's a good one. Okay. The color quality and the picture quality and like the card quality, I really think has improved. Canvas in a way. All right, we got uncommon. Assets. Fancy light, that's a good one. This is a good card. Like that is super fun. Did you read what that is? No, I did not. Banishing Light. When Banishing Light enters the battlefield, exile target non-land permanent and opponent controls until Banishing Light leaves the battlefield. Yep. Nice. So you can just boop, exile. I like that. I like the Banishing Light. That's definitely a super playable card. Not that all of them aren't super playable. Vanishing light is one that you know, which stands out. And that will probably go with the deck, the vanishing light. Vanishing light for 10 cents. Hmm. Not bad. You put you buy a lot of those, put them in a the deck if you want to buy single for 10 cents. Nice. So this is your pile? Now, I'm curious about the foil stuff, actually. Yeah, I am too. I've been, I keep looking at it and I'm like, Ooh. right. right. <laughs> exactly. Because it's foily. These I, are going to go in true fits automatically because it's foil because I just don't want damage. I'm basically a crow in human form. Anything shiny, I'm just, Ooh, yeah. Shiny. Shiny. I like the shiny. The Raging Isle. And this is cool because it comes with this spe specifically. And it doesn't want to scan. Yeah, the foils are oh, oh, careful. I know. Foils are kind of. Kind yeah, of foils are finicky. Get it off the floor. There it goes. Thirty-two cents. And then my lance. and tell them to want to scan the foils. They sure are pretty there. Oh my goodness. Let me throw one in the belt and see if it puts it in. Oh. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So good. That's really nice that they include those in the bundles. Indeed. Yep. I love foil lands. I'm a weirdo. 
I did too. I'm not full page land. I'm aware of that. These are going to go at true fits automatically anyway, so it's not really important that we know the price. Yeah, no. Um, it, it's just the fact that we will be playing with them. They will be well loved. It will be very well loved. And, and you get first pick on foils. <laughs> the foils are automatically hers. Like, just so you know how it works, like, she gets all the foil cards. Well, the good thing is, you and I tend to play a little bit different. Right. Colors we have a completely and... different style of play. Although, I don't know, you've been leaning a lot more toward black, and I play a lot of black. Like well, I, well, I've always liked black. Um, but yeah. But I've been really enjoying the black green combo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We might fight over cards. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, four wheel. The good thing is, though, I think once we get through all of these bundles, we're going to have a lot of oil lands, so we won't have to fight so much. We will not have to fight so much, because we will have foil lands over all kinds of foil lands. Mm -hmm. Because I think all the bundles now have, and that's one of the reasons why I bought I know you were like, well, do we really need booster boxes plus bundles? Like, no, yeah, yeah. now that I see this, I'm really glad. Like, these dice, too, are really cool. I, the oversized dice, I wonder when they started doing that. I don't know. We're, we got bundles up to, like, Throne of Eldraine, so, like, I'm pretty sure it probably started either then or before then. That's right. I didn't get any bundles for War of the Spark or any of the other stuff. But... Very interesting. I like it. I like it. And used to be most of the lands were just four set lands. And then the other things that came out like had four set lands. But I could be wrong. That could be like deck builders tool kits. That's possible. Because I used to buy the deck builders tool kits back in the day. I have one of those minus the packs that came in it. Thirteen dollars for the uh, almond cats. <laughs> almond cat cookies. That's what you make in the witch's oven. Almond cat cookies. No. Sure. You're familiar with the witch's oven combo with a cat. Mm-hmm. Almond cats. Almond cat. Those are really cool though. I gotta make some cookies. You do have to make cookies because I've been creating cookies for a while. And then we have the other one. Should I open this or should I just leave it in the pack? That's up to you. I mean, we know they're just regular lands, so. Yeah, I'll open. I mean, we're opening it. We yeah. like to open. We're opening. It's like Christmas all over again. It is. It is indeed. This is pretty much my Christmas gift. $1,700 to $2,000 worth of cards. All right, so. Oh, you're still doing it. I'll go ahead and do another packet. Go for it. I'm going to make that move. I'm opening another pack. It is a crazy pack. It is super mega, mega crazy. All right, we have Scorch Red. We have Into the Roll. 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 Royal. Royal. <laughs> right. Angel Heart with that goose. Nemena Skitter Sneak. You could say it real fast, and it sounds like a, a southernism. Skit or sneak? <laughs> you skit or sneak down the road? 
Kazandu Nectar Pot. Look at that one. That is really cool, actually. It is beautiful. Disenchant. Shepherd of Heroes. Living Tempest. Turn Timber. Ascentic. Cleansing. Wow, Max. Our neighbor's dog barks. I just don't know. Is it coyotes, you think? Yeah, we get a lot of coyotes. Lull Mage Familiar, first uncommon. Cyan on the Swarm, second uncommon. Basswood Fortification is also Basswood Thicket. Basswood Fortification. Basswood Thicket. Basswood Fortification. Basswood Thicket. Look at that one. That's kind of cool. I like. Beauteous, right? Soul Shatter. Soul Shatter. And then an island, little page island. And then another one of those cards to write down whatever you like. Banana. Bitch. Yeah. Aren't you glad I didn't say banana again? Oh my gosh. Wait a minute, I just did. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I got yet another human soldier. That makes me very unhappy. <laughs> human soldiers? <laughs> So let's see here. I got Funeral Rites, Triumphant Surge, Inspire Awe, Mogi's Favor, Underworld Rage Hound, Nelia's Huntmaster, Incendiary Oracle, Daybreak Chimera, Deny the Divine, Aurora's Blessing. Enemy of Enlightenment, which is my first uncommon. Stinging Lionfish. Hero of the Nyxborn. And then my rare is Atris, Oracle of Half-Truths. And then a very beautiful mountain. Very beautiful mountain. That's the only one you haven't touched. Uh, it is buried. It is buried. Oh, we'll just talk to you about it. We know that later. <laughs> Like peanuts at a roadhouse. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. I've only experienced that once, but it was fun. So I have already scanned this card. It was 18 cents. Just so you know. And then I'm going to scan the other ones. Do it. 41 cents. Two for the items you look for. Sure. Point six cents. Ten cents. Three. And we will put that. Yeah, those full art lines are nice. Thirty-two cents on a common. Thirty-two cents. That's pretty cool. Skip. Oh, they must be duplicate. That's right. I'm busy in the lines. That is really pretty. Yeah. Oddly enough, it's only one cent. Half a dozen of them. Pretty does not always equal valuable. No, but it is very pretty, I do admit. Mm -hmm. And I would definitely play that. I could make it work in a deck. I can make anything work. Tis true, tis true. All right, so I'm going to scan yours. <laughs> yours are probably higher than you can get. You say that. I do. You say You're going to pull like the super mega rare. I hope so. Super mega rare. Reach out. I need to get like a solid white thing out. If there 
Yeah, I'm sure there is. Where's that thing go? Who's stinging lionfish? Yeah. That one's super terrible. Twenty eight cents on your hatcher. Mountain. Mountain. Eighty cents. You can trip it down. Yeah. So do a better one. And another good soldier. Yeah. Got lots of those. And another good soldier. I will probably never play those. You will probably never play those. All right, so I'm going to open up another Zendikar Rising pack. And I am opening up another Theros Beyond Death. Next year, they'll have Zendikar Fallen. <laughs> Zendikar setting. Um, Commander Cube and every format in between. Download MTGO for free. You play Magic the Gathering online if you download it for free. It is a copy. This token can be used to represent a token that is a copy of a permanent. Copy. I got a negate. I love those. Practice Tactics, Fissure Wizard, say that three times fast, <laughs> Pazim, Royal, Royal, Royal Mage, that eye messing me up, Blood Price, Jiraga Visionary, Rabid Bite, this is a good card, you see that Yes. One? Rabid Bite, mm -hmm. you familiar with that? Ish. Ish. Cliff Hayden Kite Sail, that one's a big card too. Ak Akum, Hellhound. Hell has no hound like an Akum. Uh, Cinder Clothing. That's the first uncommon. Mira Captain, second uncommon. Skyclave Cleric, Skyclave Cleric. And on the other side is Skyclave Ballista. And then I got a Craig Plate Ah, is the rare. And then I got Might of Mar Marasa. <laughs> it's a common, but it is a fully common. Ooh, and then okay. I got a full peg full uh, full page planes. Say that five times fast. Full page planes, full page blah 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 blah. blah, blah. Right, exactly. <laughs> you set them up here as you go up. Alrighty, so I got Nick's Born Courser. Mm -hmm. I got Glory Bearers. That's a pretty card. I got Aspect of Lamprey. Pious Wayfarer. Nice. Return to Nature. Wrap in Flames. Setison Training. Thirst for Meaning. That's a pretty card, too. Irreverent Revelers. Voracious Typhon, Typhon, Furious Rise, Wolf Willow Haven, Archon of Falling Stars, and the first Iron Games. And then this beautiful full art plains. So we are going to do some scanning again. And I don't know how much it was because we already had one, but you can put that in true fit. So we have 29 cent promo theorems. Seven. Nine. And one of the things that I like is it's a lot of these are not duplicate. So like there's a couple that have come up duplicate, but like it's coming up new on the list. Mm -hmm. So that means it's cards we don't have, which is kind of neat. Yeah. That's but of nice. course we just started opening and yeah. I haven't opened a whole booster box yet. So. A lot of these will be duplicate later. Yeah. 
I don't think I'm gonna find like a five dollar fountain. <laughs> it could happen though. But I like scanning them as well. Well, it also gives you a list. Correct. It gives me a list of what we have. I can save that list. I can put it in a spreadsheet. I can like, manipulate it. Do all kinds of crazy things with it. So these are yours. We have them. In the mind. Once you set full page, you put that in. That will help scan. And that is a duplicate one, but it is for you to put that in. Yes, indeed. 15 cents. That's actually a really neat foil, too. Yeah. Yeah, I just don't like this world to get scratched. I know it's not like super high value. But no, but I don't want them to get all scratched. Agreed. If I end up playing it, it will get scratched. Oh yes. Do I like slam the card in the case one doesn't like? Grab it, bite. That one will probably get used to. What I'd like to see in the future is where they do bundles with like the set boosters. The gate will probably get used. I do end up probably having to buy like a bunch of tokens. But I think what set was it that we had that we ended up having to buy like extra tokens that we didn't have? There was one that you needed oh, for like I forget what set that was. Was it Dominaria? It wasn't Dominaria. No, it was well before Dominaria. It was I think it was Ixlan, maybe? Maybe it was. Because um Because you needed a monkey. Yeah. You needed the monkey. You didn't pull a monkey out of any of the stuff. No. Before. It was and weird, I, too. Yeah, it was weird, because we were normally pretty lucky with tokens, but... Uh... So, I have Synchronized Spellcraft. I have Tazim and Mitch. I have Foresight Adept. I'm going to take this off. Like you kidding. We have to. All right, let's do that again. Synchronized Spellcraft. We have Tazim and Mitch. We have... Or set I guess, because my memory is horrible. Because I don't have cookies. Fissure, wizard. Tyrannus silencer. Gnarled. Colony. Glacial grasp. Kind of crazy how I do that. Mm -hmm. the no, that's mm -hmm. nice. I like that. Mm -hmm. I learned those tricks over the years and years and years of playing. Macaulay Ox. Did that pronounce that right? I have no idea. I would say McKindy. Breadworm. It is breadworm. Read that. The silo black. Dreadworm. Landfall. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, Dreadworm gains indestructible until end of turn. Nice. So you can attack with it, and if they block it, it doesn't die. Its silent slithering belies its bulk. Right. You like snakes anyway. Yeah. All right, so canopy palette. Lithoform Blight. This is a cool card. It doesn't work the way you would expect it. It does, but it doesn't. Let's see. Lithoform Blight. Enchant land. When Lithoform Blight enters the battlefield, draw a card. Enchanted land loses all land types and abilities and has tap, add colorless, and tap, pay one life, add one mana, and many color. So how many different ways can you use that? If I put it on your land, what happened? I would have to pay a life to get any kind of mana of a color, so that right. would detriment me greatly if I don't have use for the colorless. Or, if I'm playing a mono-black deck, but I have multiple colored cards in it, mm. I can pay the life to make it whatever color I need. 
So if I need a mountain, for example, to throw out a terror, and I'm playing mono black, I can use the list of form flight to make my card mountains in order to throw out my terror and play all black. Mm. Um, so it works kind of two ways. Uh, it's really neat, but it doesn't work quite the way you would think. It's not as damaging to your opponent as you think it would be, because there are a lot of decks that people make would like it. Mm-hmm. Ruck Slide Sorcerer is the next one, but it is a neat card. It is a very neat oh, card. Oh, yeah. I'm not saying anything negative about it. I'm just saying I try to use it against my opponent, and it backfired on me. Yeah, I can see that. Spike Field Hazard. Inscription of Abundance. Forest. And then Pretty. the card you mark. Then the card probably needs a lot of those, huh? Because of the, the flip. Yeah. Dual side. Yeah, if you're using it like if we put it in a true fit, it wouldn't matter. And then we put it inside a sleeve that doesn't have like a if you put it in a clear sleeve, yeah, you'd have to use it. But we very rarely use clear sleeves. I do, but not for magic to get. I like the clear sleeve for like Star Trek or yeah. Final Fantasy or um, what's the other one? I think that's it, right? Mm. Yeah, Star Trek and Final Fantasy. Which are both a lot of fun to play off. Yeah, we, we've been enjoying Star Trek quite a bit lately. Yeah. We need to make some more Star Trek. Yes, we do. Oh, do you have mine that you put in that? Or did you hand me the one? I handed it to you. Did mine? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to scan them. What? Didn't I hand you a couple for true fits? Yeah, but I handed them back to you. Did you? I don't have them. Just recent. Mm. Oh, that one. Yeah, you never handed that to me. I'm sorry. I thought I did. <laughs> I meant to. Yeah, the last one you handed me was a planes. Yeah, that's fine. I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. There you go. Thank you. I should just give you all the truth. Just come with me. Wow. I have right here, but I'm saying the rude. I know. Finally, something different. An elemental. An elemental. You know what? Solar tokens. Yeah, I don't play a whole lot of white. And yet humans are boring. Yet. <laughs> so elemental. Yeah. Thank you for the follow. Thank you. Let's see. Ooh, and I got an unknown shores. Unknown shore. Scavenging harpy. Scavenging harpy. Transcendent envoy. Transcendent envoy. Towering wave mystic. That's a nice card. Read it. Read it. Whenever Towering Wave Mystic deals damage, target player puts that many cards from the top of their library into their graveyard. Ooh, mill card. Yeah, that's a way to, you, there's ways to manipulate that. Yeah, if you're drudging, that would be nice. Too. Because one of the things is, it says, when Towering Wave Mystic deals damage, target player puts that many cards on the top of their library into their graveyard. There's a, col uh, I'm trying to say it backwards. There's a card that's called Colossify. That will make it 20, 20 plus 2020, 20, I believe, or plus 1010. 10. I can't remember. Lost five, one, two. I lost it for a moment. But anyway, you put Colossify on this, and then you attack with it, and you put something where it's either unblockable or something else where they can't do anything. And once it deals damage, wham, they mill all those. Neat. Colossification. I'm sorry. Colossification. And I think it's 2020. 20. So, I got Hero of the Pride, Portent of Betrayal, Grind Giant, Hero of the Games. Wait, is that Triple H? It doesn't look like Triple H at all. <laughs> Elysian Car Carotid? Carotid. Nyxborn Brute. That one's awesome. Check that one. Read that one. Yeah, I know you play those. I've seen I that. that add one mana of any color. If you control a creature with power four or greater, add two mana of any one color instead. Yeah, that one's nice. Awesome. It's great for mana ramp. 
Shoal Kraken. What? You crack what? Shoal Kraken. Wow. Hateful Idolian. Idolian. Is he referring to Idolian? Wow. Citizen Petitioner. Underworld Breach. I would say something about working on a sink, but I already used that joke. Yes, yes you did. Because you don't want to see somebody's underworld breach. I see your underworld breaches, plumber. While you're working on my sink. Yeah, I'm, I'm leaving. Okay. Bye. All right, so I have a construct. Ooh. Ooh. Move this. Move this. You don't want to mix a match. No. Construct. And this one says magic the gathering. Oh. I have to look it over. Into the roll. Mike, the monstrous. Synchronized spellcraft. Reclaim the waste. This is a cool part too. Let me read that. Reclaim the wastes. Picker three. You may pay an additional three as you cast the spell. Search your library for a basic land card, reveal it, put it into your hand, and then shuffle your library. If this spell was kicked, search your library for two basic land cards instead of one. Oh, nice. Right. And it goes into your hand. There's some cards that allow you to put them into play and put yeah, them into those play tap, are very nice. which is pretty cool. And you can pick or choose whether you want to use these or those or both in your deck, depending on how much mana ramp you need. I've actually mana ramped myself where I've got like all my land and then some and like <laughs> you can't use it at that point. All right, so Marauding Blight Priest is the next coming. Shijuru. Blight Braid? Ooh, I can't turn it off here. You try. Let's see. Sajuru Blight Blade. Right. What she said. McKinney Ox. That's, that's the fun of me, like opening packs and trying to pronounce the stuff. Just, it comes out. <laughs> hey, who's the frog here? And today we have a glacial grass. And then we have a Phoebus Wall. And we have 15 cards in packs of so number 15 and Fox. Find Gecko. The letters M, T, and G. What? Nothing. What'd you say? I said, and the letters M, T, and G. Oh, M, T, and G. Wow, that was good. Hi, hey, welcome to the Frog here, and today's stream is brought to you by the letters M, T, and G. Find <laughs> Gecko. All right. Consecrated Defense. Zorf Consumption. off consumption right what you said each opponent loses four life and you gain four life that's always nice Ooh, or it can be a land or it can be a land and you know what the beauty of that is once upon a time way back when in 1997 guess how many land people normally ran in their deck i don't know how many take a guess 10? No, a lot more than 10. <laughs> the minimum that people put in the deck was about 16. I was going to say 16. And the most that people put in the deck was about 20. These days, you need about 24. Yeah. If you have cards like that, it allows you to do what? If you don't have enough land, you can play one. You can run that as land instead. Now, granted, they come out tapped. Now, this. whatever you choose, the moment you play that, it's stuck as that, though, right? Correct. Yes, There's one, or no the way to, one or the other. Correct. No way to flip Unless it. Unless you find a way to bounce it back. Oh, and then if you play it again, you can choose again? Right. So, like, say, for example, if you have, and I don't know if there's a lot of cards that allow you to do it on your own stuff, but you can do it on your opponent's stuff. If it's a creature, you can return creature to hand and then play it as a land. Or... I'm not 100% sure that there's cards that allow you to return the land, but there are some stuff that will maybe destroy it, and then it goes into your graveyard, and then you pull all the land back out in the play. So it depends on how you play. Like, there are ways to manipulate the that cards, works. and there will be more ways in the future. I'm pretty sure, don't quote me on it because I don't have any official information, but I'm pretty sure there will be ways to manipulate that. Uh oh. 
Lithoform engine. Oh yeah, that's one of your favorites. This is one of my, this is like my favorite card. Like this is, of all the new standard cards that have come out, this is like my favorite of all time, Lithoform engine. Read Lithoform. Lithoform engine, legendary artifact. So you can pay two and tap to copy target activated or triggered ability you control. So what did that do? It'll copy um, an ability that you have on, I imagine, on the right. battlefield. Permanent, right. You may choose new targets for the copy. Correct. Cool. You can pay three and tap to copy target instant or sorcery spell you control. So what did that do? Copies an instant or a sorcery. Right. And you may no choose new targets for the copy. You can pay four and tap to copy target permanent spell you can control, and the copy becomes a token. Ooh, that's nice. Right. That's nice. That's why I love the thing. And with Mana Ramp, it's crazy. And the thing that I love using this with the most is Ugin. So if we happen to pull an Ugin, like, I'd be super happy. Jimmo agrees with you. Right, exactly. <laughs> yes. The engine is amazing. <laughs> yes. And especially with Ugin. Because I've used Mana Ramp and I've used it with Ugin. And say somebody puts out a 6-6 six, six creature and you have Ugin, you can use Lithoform Engine to duplicate Ugin's ability and kill that creature that's a 6-6. Six, six. And if you do it and you have enough land, you can, like, put it out and then do it every single turn. Boom, 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 boom. And then... One of the other things that's really cool is I will let them kill all my stuff, or I will actually kill all my stuff, and I put terror into the graveyard, and I use Ugin to draw the seventh card, throw the terror out, and all the other creatures, and it's like, bop, 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 and they're dead. Really cool. Yeah, it's fun when you get to pull that off. Right, it's really cool when you get to pull it off. So I have a Vine Gecko that is a foil, and I have a full page. Nice. Yes. And I want to build some standard decks, and we'll have to play after we open all the standard stuff. Very nice. Did you get yours? Mm-hmm. All right, so this is yours. I'm going to scan the notebook. Scan the real fast. What you said, you can shoot for that if you will, please. Mm-hmm. And then the gecko. You can shoot for that because it's a foil. I don't want to scratch it. It's a form engine is... Ten dollars and seventy-seven cents. Nice. Now I'm not saying all the cards that I love are real expensive, but that one is nice. Very nice. And that was a good pull. Six cents. You can it up. So, Got it. Three cents. That one is a previous one, and I know it's not super high value. A dollar. One. You can put a true fit on that because that's that's very rare that a common is that much. Oh, really? Yep, that's a meta card. And for those of you who don't know what meta means, it means that it's a really good card that a lot of people play in a lot of decks. And if they have a deck that is like Mythic Platinum, for example, and like Magic the Gathering Arena, um, that is one of the cards that would be played in a Mythic Platinum deck or in a tournament. Um, to win you know, tournaments. One of the ones that's like a really good card. Reclaim the waste. Of the card. I don't know why I'm tapping it. I just love the sound. It's ridiculous. Okay. Right. So these are mine. Mm -hmm. These are mine. There are actually, but like I'm doing Zendikar. And you are doing? There us. There us beyond death. Eight cent. You can do that if you would. Mm -hmm. I love those full art lands. 308. You for that if you would. Four cent. Four cent. Mm. Seventeen. I will probably use that in a day. For sure. Four cent. 
What's up? I, I need four of these. Those are nice. For, for sure. I need four of these. For sure. Cent. Herring Wee Mystic. 19 cent. That's good for you. If you play a blue deck, I'll definitely win. But it also depends on what type of mill you're playing. I've seen a lot of mill decks recently that do not have. Unknown Shore. I did not notice that you had one. Mm -hmm. That's nice. I like that Unknown Shore. Very playable. And then Elemental Token. 10 cents. Mm -hmm. That's definitely one that I would play. Nice. I don't know if you can kind of set it off to the side. We'll probably dig through it anyway. Do you want to open another pack? Sure. We can set them side by side and do it at the same time. Sure. Get through it a little quicker. Yes. Scavenge Blade. Chilling Trap. Might the Monstrous. Ghastly Gloom Hunter. Territorial Skates Cat. Pretty wolf token. Ooh, it is a beautiful wolf token. That is really pretty. I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, that's really cool. Oh, you might want to put down the middle thing. Put down. Oh, I need to do that. Don't. Thank you for reminding me. Mm -hmm. Where'd you that get? <laughs> Scavenge. Scavenge Blade. Okay. Territorial Skates Cat. Gasly Gloom Hunter. Smite the mistress, Mis Mis mysterious. <laughs> Smite that mistress. What? Chilling trap. Smiter. Spitfire. The gack. The gack. Pious wayfarer. Nahiri's binding. Unknown shores. Skyclave boot. Grim physician. Do you have any? Rumble Fort. <laughs> Nyad of <laughs> Nyad of Hidden Coves. Go fish. Mm -hmm. Skyclave Shadow Cat. We could play Go Fish with these. Wow. Arena Trickster. Relic Bile. Gift of Strength. First, first uncommon one. Nice. Hero of the Pride. Black Bloom Rogue, which is also Black Bloom Bog. Bog Ooh. Rogue. Bog Rogue. Nyxborn Brute. Throne of McKinney. Deny the Divine. It was upside down, but it is Kazindu Nectar Pot, and it is a foil. Careless Celebrant. Hydra's Growth. Go Punks. Mm, go Fish. Wow. Dawn of Ev Evangel. And then I have one of the cards for the double side. And then my rare is Eidolon of Obstruction. Ooh. And then I've got this pretty uncommon foil, Inevitable wow. End. Oh, that's a good one. I like that one. That's definitely going in my deck. <laughs> Read that stuff. If it's not going in my yeah, deck. I use that in my deck. It is an enchantment. Enchant creature. Enchanted creature has, at the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice a creature Ooh. right and the trick with this card is whatever card that they want to keep say for example they have like a um hollowed uh as an example and they want to keep the hollowed because the hollowed just gets bigger you throw this on the hollowed and then they won't want to sacrifice the hollowed they'll want to sacrifice something else um if you throw it on a commander they sacrifice the commander right away but if you throw it on one of their like big creatures and one of their creatures that they really want to keep like, they'll usually sacrifice the other creatures first or try to get rid of tokens or something first before they sacrifice the creature and put it on. So, when you do it, be sure you pick and choose wisely what you throw it on, but it's beautiful, and it is a foil. I just love that. I just love that. You just don't know how much I It is five cent, but it says it is a regular one, so I'm going to change that foil. And I'm going to pull this back up. So, let me see. It is... It is 12 cents. You can throw that entry fit if you will, please, because I will definitely pull that. Yeah, it's super playable. All right. Mountain. That can go in a true fit too. Nice. That's it for obstruction. 
Two cents. Extra playable card, a dollar a lemon. That's because of the meta card. Mm. Four cents. Are you scanning? No, apparently, I scanned that probably twice. Deny the divine. Yeah, I've gotten one of those. I'm expecting one of them to jump out at like 10 bucks. You see? That's it. No shorts. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, I like those. Second. Those are really cool. Yeah. And if you're playing like a top color, that's nice. Let me set. And it and it's it's one of those cards that you may not choose as your primary land base for a five color, but if you run out of like another type of getting that color, you can use that to tap tap one and a new color. And it's kind of like the blight. It's kind of like blighting something, but blight you would want to use in a mono black or you would want to use it in pants Yeah. Building news. <laughs> a billion twenty three cents, and you can choose with that. Of course. And I have another one of these, but it didn't tell me it was foil, and I bet it's not worth a whole lot. It probably take me forever to scroll to it. I can't find it. Oh, everyone manually. I'm curious. That's probably showcase. Oh, maybe it did. Weird. Okay, I don't know. That'll go in a trip anyway. Because it's foil. Because it's foil. And it's pretty. pretty. I like that. 18 cents. Black Island. 6 cents. Get a catch. 3 cents. 2 cents. 2 cents. I bet once the new set comes out, a lot of these cards are going to be worth Oh, right. I would imagine. Because they'll mix and match with the new set. Yep. It's right now at that thing where it kind of went up and then it kind of goes down. And then, like, the new set will come out and, like, something. Yeah. Yeah. And the blade. We will put those into the box. The box. That's the box. But we have a few more packs. I got Cascade. Oh, let me take that. Yep, yep, yep. I got Cascades here. I got Transcendent Envoy. Farsight Adept. Lampad of Death's Vigil. Lamenting Voice. Scavenging Harpy. Oblivion's Hunger. Nyxborn Corsair. Dauntless Survivor. Iroa's Blessing. Sizzling Barak. Return to Nature. Deadly Alliance. Final Flare. Highborn Vampire. Loathsome Chimera. Dauntless Unity. Ichthymorphous. Strength of Solidarity. Elspeth's Nightmare. Use it in a sentence. No. Okay. Marasa's Route Flame. 
One with the stars. That's a pretty card. Low Mage's Domination. That is my first uncommon. Oh, no, that is my second uncommon. Slaughter Priest of Mogus. I went to the movies with a Low Mage's from <laughs> Arasta, Ar Arasta of the Endless Web. That's my rare. Because then do you minute? Ooh, I got a Foil Phoenix of Ash. I have a swamp. This beautiful swamp right here. I have the game doesn't stop here. MTGarena.com. And I got a zombie token. It says free to play MTG or Magic the Gathering Arena, free to play, standard, draft, sealed, and more. Play anything, anywhere, anytime. MTG Arena. US and Canada. Although they do play other countries. They play with people from Australia, the UK, China, Japan. A couple other countries too. All right, team. I'll scan this see if it's standard. It won't scan. Oh no, it's not. It's worth nothing. I knew that. I'm kidding. Right, so, let me go ahead and pull the scanner off. And I'm just being silly. There is a land that is 18 cents. You may truth it. The man, man. I did use this on occasion, and you can put that in trigger. I don't know how much that one is. A little mage is familiar? Actually, I'm going to delete that. Go crazy! More sex. Domination. Ten cents. Suffering. Solidarity. Ah. Really? Samsung? They're making voice. Of course, I did it. That's good. See? Those may go away. Bob, man. Bob, it's so much, baby. You put that. That's 87 cents. You definitely put that in the tree. Yeah, that's particularly nice. Phoenix of Ash. You got a foil Phoenix of Ash. Mm hmm. Forty. Did you fit that to the display? Mm -hmm. Forty-two cents. That's up to you if you're going to use it. Five cents. You don't have to pull it. You know, it's, it's mm -hmm. The nightmare. Oh my goodness! My phone is freaking out on me. Apparently. What color is that? That's black, right? No, it's green. Oh, you may not use it. You may, you may not. You like black and green, right? I do. I do like black and green. Can you have a And it's And it doesn't stop here. All right, so do you want to save one of these to do a giveaway later? I'm like, I open all except two packs. I have them. Oh, well. Um, I don't know. That's up to you. Either out of this or out of the box. The booster box, I kind of want to do like the booster box. 
Mm. We can save one. Butterfingers. That was silly. Well, I was trying to put it back in the box. Why'd you take it out of the box? Because it was crooked. There was stuff. The cards fell. And there was cards on top of it. I'm hungry for cookies. You want cookie? No? Sure. You may. Alrighty. Yeah, I'll try to fix my mess I made. Fix my mess I made because I'm bored of things. It happens. It does happen. It happens. Usually to me. Right. So let's see what we got to have. All those foil. Ooh, I got a Seder token. I like Sabres. Alrighty. Peladod's Pilgrim. Towering Wave Mystic. Yes, those are awesome. Yeah, I'm going to make a big mess with these. I'm just going to put it like that. That's probably a good idea. Omen of the Dead. Rumbling Sentry. Elysian Carotid. Satyr's Cunning. Venomous Hierophant. Vexing Gull. Orid of the Mountain's Blaze. Warbriar Blessing. Green Shaper Shaman. Siona, Captain of Phileas. Phileas? Right. Nessian Horn Beetle. Mm -hmm. And Nyx Lotus. Oh. That's kind of pretty. Right? I like that. Nyx Lotus enters the battlefield tapped. It has tap, choose a color, add an, add an amount of mana of that color equal to your devotion to that color. That's nice. Right. That's really nice. Right. And then, of course, that beautiful full art island. And I bet the Nyx Lotus is worth a lot. I bet that card. Well, you can. Yeah, check. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to scan that one right away. Ah. <laughs> So let me fix this. I'm broken because I love breaking in stuff. There we go. All right. Nick's Lotus, $15. Three fifty. Not bad, though. That's a cool card. That's a nice card. I like it. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to hang on to this for giveaway for later. Because I'm a weirdo. And there's probably really good stuff in here. Like, this has probably got the trophy. So I have a plant token. I have... Pyroclastic Helion, Shell Shield, Pazim Raptor, Sneaking Guide, Jaraga Visionary, Marauding Blight Priest, Cliffhaven Kaitsu. You need to take that down again, though. Oh, thank you for that. I'm gonna start over now. Because I'm crazy. Right. I have a plan. It's okay. I have a pyroclastic enemy. I have shell shield. I have Tazim Raptor. Sneaking guy. I have Jagora Visionary. I have Marauding Light Priest. I have Cliff Haven Cancel. I have Spitfire Legak. Gax like squid. Those are the best kind of squid, especially on like you know, sushi. Rabbit Bite, Mind Cover, Goma, Bada, 
Đang gọi Đó là Gedan Rakari Archpriest of Iona 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 And then a mountain And then I'm going to save this for giveaway for later Give away And then you have one more Yeah, and I'm going to save this one for giveaways Well, that's a thick pack too There's like a couple for them in there Wow, can you see that one? Oh, all of yours feel thick Yeah, feel mine compared to yours Interesting Yeah, you got like double triple four on that That's like a double triple four giveaway pack Wow Super good So, let me do my last one here Oh, I like that reflection token creature. Looks like Ooh. they're doing a play on uh, Narcissus. Yeah, there's that's the uh, card that's the other mm -hmm. that's the token for that. Yeah, that's really cool. And I hope you pull one of those because I know you like that card. That would be cool. Okay, so I got Underworld Charger, mm -hmm. Indomitable Will, Wings of Hubris, Fruit of Tazer. Tazaris, Omen of the Hunt, Brine Giant, Stampede Rider, Nexus Wardens, Omen of the Sea, Infuriate, Mire Triton, Thranati Singer, Renata Called to the Hunt. And then Athema the ca the cacophony. Say that again. Yeah, yeah. The what? No. <laughs> I cannot pronounce that word. I don't know why. For what's funny? Cacophony. Wow. <laughs> and then forest. Is that how they like communicated back way back when? With like a string in a cup? What do you call you on my cacophony? No? Cup of string? Okay, so I am going to scan these. Are you able to like migrate and maybe snack us? It'd be most difficult. It would be very difficult. My tummy is grumbling. Yeah, but my tummy doesn't feel good, so. No. I wish I had cookies. Wow. Cookie boy. All right, well, you scan those. I'll see what I can get into. I'm going to scan these while you see what you can get into. All right, so. You will have to take care of the uh, I true fitting. I will true fit. Figure out how to get out of here without knocking everything. Knocking everything down because we have three cameras. We have uh, a screen for my phone and a microphone and a computer and a bunch of displays. Yeah, in a very tiny room. <laughs> in a very tiny, tiny room. And we have like boxes and boxes. You can't see them all, but there's like boxes, 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 boxes. And you can't see her right now, but. What's really cool is, you know how, like, they have the thing where they, like, do, like, Mission Impossible, or, like, they do, uh, what is it, Charlie's Angels, and they go through, like, all the lasers, and they're, like, jumping and, like, flipping and, like, doing all stuff? Like, all of these cables for all of the, like, lighting and, like, the ring lights and the cameras and everything, she's, like, got to navigate, like, through all that stuff. Really, really cool. <laughs> like, one of the Charlie's Angels. Actually, this part. Okay. 
You can't took an event. You can't guess what card you need that for. It's kind of funny because you need like four of them. Five or eight of them. What is Underrated. Why did you put jumpstart? The bar. Definitely use that card in a deck. I need two more. Now, one of the things that I noticed, and I want to kind of point this out, and I want to make a comment on it, um, if you can see it. I don't know how well you can see it on camera, but right here, whenever it, like, got cut and rolled, there's a couple indents in the card. I don't know if you can see that. Right. right in there. I don't know how well you can see that. There you go. See those? See the couple of indents right there? That was damage whenever they like rolled that. In those couple of indents. Now, what you can do if you get a card that's damaged like this, this one is 80 cents. So I probably will send it in for replacement. Yeah, because it's 80 cents. Um, they do have product replacement. So anytime you get a card like that that is packed fresh, like literally, literally packed fresh, you open it straight out of the pack, and it's got those couple indents in it. Like right in there. There you go. See it right there. 
if you get ink cards that are damaged, the edges are damaged, it's cut wrong, the sides are cut wrong, it has like indents in the cards where it's damaged, and you actually want it as like a collector's item. And and I'll ask Ricky when she comes back if she even cares about the couple indents in the card. Um, you can send it into Wizards of the Coast product replacement, and they will send you a replacement card um, that is mint condition for the card that you get that is damaged. So, I don't know how if Brecky considers that, like, damaged, damaged? Like, I don't know. Like, I would send it in a product replacement, me personally, because all the other cards are, like, in perfect condition. And that one, obviously, has indents in it. Look like uh, whenever it, like, hit the roller or whatever it hit when they were, like, putting it in a pack, it was damaged. None of the other cards have any indents in them. And like shy of like capping it with like a coin, like I don't, it, yeah, it would have had to been something metal that hit that. Not sure, not sure what happened, but it does happen. I mean, the mistakes are made in the process of like being manufactured. And it's good to know that Wizards of the Coast will back up their product and replace it if you do mail it into the product replacement. It's really good to know that. I just wanted to let everyone know, in case you did not know, Wizards of the Coast stands by their products, and they will replace damage by And I have had to send some items in to, unfortunately, to Wizards of the Coast, and they have replaced them. And on occasion, they will give you something extra. Not always. It's not guaranteed. So don't expect something extra every time. But sometimes, if you do have, like, a lot of damaged product, uh, because something happened, like, in the manufacturing process, they will give you, like, a freebie of something else extra, whether it be a pack of cards or, like, occasionally, like, a whole deck of cards, you know, depending. Um, but nine times out of ten, like, a single card like this, you just send it in, and they send you the single card back. I'm waiting on Frankie for snacks. Um, let me see here. What do I want to do with these? What do I want to do? Okay. So I have some true fits. I'm gonna move the true fits in. I have a box. A box. The right box. This is the right box. So I have a four-section box. Box number eight. Four section box. Look like it's squeezing on the tree. And in in box eight it is the newer stuff. Let me see. I don't know if I have sections for. Uh, Born of the God, Battle of the Horde. That is not newer. That is old. But I used it as a spacer, and it does actually have cards in it. It is physical cards, not just the image box. I'm missing one. I can't remember which one I'm missing. But I have, and I need it. Um, and I have Journey to Nix. So in case you haven't seen these, these are really cool. Um, this is for Solitaire. Like, you can play against this. And they just, you draw it and play against it. And it doesn't require like mana. It's like a, a like a like a solitaire game with these. So you can defeat the god. It's journeys and the mix. And battle the horde. And there's a third one, and I don't have the third. And I use them as space. These are empty also. These are empty. But those have problems. Right, so, so this is Frankie's. Frankie's. And later on, I'll sort them and I'll put them in true fits. If I have like four or more, I typically we'll stick them in a true fit. Uh, but these are all unsorted. If you look at all these cards that are in here, these are all. But these are. 
it was on deck. It was on deck. And these are Japanese. 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 But those are Japanese. This war is for Japanese. And then I have some regular wars. But uh, these are unsold. For the most part. I have like thriving more. Thriving more! Like you can see that sorted. Uh, I put a bunch of those in, in a tree. Or excuse me, penny city. Uh, so I know like these are more than four. I guess there's one in a true fit. We must have played that in a deck. Because I think these are only 35 cents, the thriving ones. Or they were 35 cents. They may be cheaper now. Actually, I could scan that and tell you. Thriving more! 49 cents. So it actually went. And I don't know if I have Zendikar because Jumpstart, Jumpstart 21. Where are you in there? How did you get in there? How did you get it? That's an M15 card. That doesn't. You're a black cat and you are standard, but you're not Oh, <laughs> mystery booster, mystery booster. I'm crazy. Ignore what I say, mystery booster. Like, well, that doesn't go there. It's like an empty And I do not have a spot for Zendikar. I will probably have to shuffle this around. I left plenty of space because I have like a whole back here that I have to open. And I actually have an empty box over there on Frankie's side because I know once I start putting all the standard cards away, like this box is going to get full. This is what I have for like standard stuff right now, um, with the exception of like well, from here back, it's not. Um, from here forward, M20 actually is not. So it's actually from here forward. From here forward is standard stuff. From here back is not, except for reprints. So there are reprints. And Zendikar, I don't have a spot. But this is box eight. This is my eight, number eight of my full set. This one back here is nothing but land, and the rest of them are on sets from beta on. Um, and that being said, these eight boxes is like a small amount of magic card. I had a whole bunch of more cards prior to Hurricane Katrina that got destroyed. And I'm trying to get, I'm trying to replace and get new cards as we go. Um, like box one and two. I think box one and two is probably the replacement stuff that I have for the stuff that I lost. And then everything else is like new stuff. Um, but I have probably three five section boxes and like at least two or three four section boxes of stuff that would be only box and two of the stuff that I have. So I have a lot of replacement stuff. Kind of hard to replace like fourth edition. Divine. These are mine, and these are oh, those here, and then these are. Yes, so that goes here. Okay, that's in there. I will put the journey to mix it back, and then I will put the bottom of the gods over here for a minute. Next to her cedar. Okay, now I'm going to put the lid. And then Zendikar, I need a spot. I will take this out. Take it in here. Now, the cool thing is about this box, I want to, I want to tell you a little trick. This is a trick you may already know. I don't know if you know. The box is kind of cool. If you have it this way, right, it fits cards that are just plain cards. Okay? So you fit it that way, and it's cards. Typically, if you put them in true fit, they'll fit that way also, right? 
but depending on the size of your your card sleeve, like if you put it in an actual. Yes. Okay. I don't think that'll fit in. Oh, it does. Oh, the Titan Shields fit inside this one. Ooh. These are, uh, what are they called? Eclipse. So the Titan Shield inner sleeves will fit inside Eclipse sleeves. Good to know. Some of them they don't. The cheaper ones they don't. And when I say cheaper one, it's like not really a brand name. But it's good to know it does fit. Okay, so you stick it in there, it fits like that, right? So let's say you have something larger that you need to put in there. You can turn it the opposite direction. But these will actually fit with the sleeves. But if you want to put dice in there, you can use it with dice. With a dice cup. And that way you can like take this and pour your dice in. If you have anything larger, stick it there. Kind of good to know. So you do it either direction and use it for dice. If you don't have one of these. These are kind of cool too. I don't know if you've seen these, but these are kind of neat. Um, they actually have Ultra Pro. They actually have a little dice in the box. So you can use this for dice. Or you can use Put it in like this. That. But they're good for storage. I mean, you can put some of like this and stuff in there. And there's some packs that are wider. I don't have any, but they, they have the, like the little like zip thing on the top. When you stick them in there, you don't even turn them sideways. You stick them inside there. But all of these can go. All of these can go. That's all this does. For now. Oh no! Oh no! And then this can go inside. And then you can separate it too. Like I can actually put like one set here and there. But as you get an entire set of cards, like this will fill up if you use these. That's why I use four section boxes a little bit better. But you can use these for your sets too if you need them for separate. Whichever you prefer. Whichever you prefer. And these have a little separate. In case you didn't know what these are for. You can use it like in your boxes to separate sets. I get the little white ones. Uh, is what I use for those. But they also are good for if you have your main deck as far as like standard traditional, and then you have your sideboard, you can separate your sideboard from your main deck. And if you're doing uh, a draft or you're doing a sealed event, you put the extra cards behind it so that like the ones you're playing are there and then, like, the ones you're not behind it. Because technically in a, in a draft, Everything that is not what you need to decide. Sealed event, should I say? It's technically your sideboard. Technically. Although you're not supposed to change your deck in the order. And the lids inside have these little things in here too, so that it keeps it like above the other piece. I'm still waiting on snacks. So I'm going to take a break for a minute while we wait on Freki to come back with the snacks. And before I do that, I want to talk to you about all of this stuff. 
So I have 421. I have Zendikar Rising. This is a boost box. This is a draft. This, this is a whole, whole draft. But, and all of this stuff, I'm probably going to open. I don't know how much of this will. Um, I only got a few packs. Um, I got um, a couple individual packs of the Commander Legends. And then I also bought, um, they have a little three pack that comes in a box. I bought one of those two. It's out of the living room. But I got a bunch of boost boxes. I got 2021. I got one. This one's open for 2021. Um, and I think there's like 28 packs in here. We opened a couple. We opened a few and did like drafting um, and played a little bit, mixed them with some other cards. But I like 2021 a lot. So I actually bought two booster boxes in 2021 in addition to the. I'm not sure how much of that I'll open. I was I was thinking maybe I'll save depending on what I have to build the deck that I want to build. If I do more for 2021, I may save this other box. I may do a giveaway for it. But we'll see. But I'll be right back. I'm gonna run to the restroom. I'm gonna see how Fricky is doing with the snack. And then we will continue with this crazy crazy craziness that is crazy and crazy the craziness but we have a bundle of 2021 that we need to open we have a core layer of the volcanic bundle we have to open and we have a throne of the drain bundle we have to open and if Ricky is up for it after that we will probably start opening booster boxes also but I'm not sure it depends I'm kind of hungry but I'm going to take a break. I'll be right back. And we will continue this for the left off. All right, so we are back. And I need a spot for the Zendikar Rising. And I would say probably after jumps. After Jumpstart, I guess. Um, uh, yeah, probably. You have your phone, right? Yeah, let me take a look real quick. I'm pretty sure it is, but. So, on the car rising. Yeah, it's, um. Yeah, jump start and then some closing. Jump start and then some. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if I muted earlier or whatever, but as I was saying earlier, like if you have the box, this one. You can put it in here, just a regular card. You can put it in there in a inner sleeve. And if you have a sleeve, it'll still fit this one. But if you have your really expensive card that you put inside these, it won't fit this direction. So you can turn it this way and set it inside there and put store all of your cards in like a really hard protectors and then when you stick it in the other box you put it in here this way so that they're that way instead of this way if that makes sense it that's what sense. i was trying to say earlier but look it didn't come up right you know what you know what i'm saying yeah i i i speak you you speak me mm -hmm. Speak functional language. Oh, you already moved yours off to the side. Wow. You saw you are? Yeah, I know. one of these. Put one of these in the car. You know which one of these were missing? Because I wanted to replace, I wanted to buy that thing. 
I don't. Probably pretty expensive. Right? Billion dollars. I kind of doubt that. Might be. You never know. Could be. These I have a spot for. I think out there. Oh, there it is. I'd say something, but it probably isn't appropriate for Twitch. You should not say that. It is not appropriate for Twitch. <laughs> Did you get, you get these? In yours? Mm hmm Where'd you put yours? Oh, I was going to say I didn't see them off. Okay, okay. I think I shoved some of the other stuff in there, too, with that. I'll, I'll sort it out later. We'll figure it. Yeah, we'll figure it out later. When you hand me those, I'll put them in with a, with a set, and I'll put them out later. Because i got to sort those and put them in the case. All right, so we will set these aside. And then... Bits. Saves, if you want to call them that. Your dice is really pretty. Isn't it? That looks kind of cool. Alright, so what do you want to open next? Hmm. If I remember correctly, a uh, layer of behemoths was pretty cool. Layer of behemoths was pretty cool. That's the one I was trying to tell you about. And I will do Throne of Elfrain. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me have the Alright. Ooh, mine has like a little magnet thing. Yeah, my my had a one did too. Oh did it? Mm -hmm. It does have Packs. I love that color. Oh, that is really pretty. I love the purple color. So mine has Alternative Art Premium Foil Piper of the Swarm Card. And I have one of these too. Find out more at mtgstory.com. And then in this side says explore our Comprehensive library of magic knowledge. Gather. And then it's got art inside. The art inside looks really pretty. Can't really see Yeah, it. The, the inner art is really neat. I'm kind of digging these oversized dice, too. Uh, this would be fun for a mono red player. Yeah. Discover more magic. Learn mtgwizard.com. Standard Booster Draft Commander information. And it has Planeswalker Loyalty. And it, oh, look, it looks like, it, I think it's advertising the point. Nice. Attacking and blocking. And then I have Planes, and I have Piper of the Swarm. So mine includes an alternative art, Piper of the Swarm. I got 10 15 card Throne and Drain Booster Packs, 10 of these. And then I got 20 premium foil and 20 basic land, and then a special, a special oversized dice. Maybe that one. Now, see, that's beautiful. Isn't it? How come you're getting all the really pretty ones? I don't know, man. 
I don't know. I get pretty stuff. That purple's really neat. Yeah, it is, isn't it? I love that color purple. Mm hmm That's beautiful. So I want to put my lid over here. And it's got art on the lid, too. I love that. On the lids. Oh, this is that card you were talking about. Yeah, colossification. 2020 plus 2020, yeah. So you colossify the card that you can like mill them with and you just mill 20. Oh, that's awesome. So you use green blue together and you can do that. That's really cool. Colossification. So what does yours come with? Colossification, 20 foil, and 20, what are those? Little tokens, lifelink, menace, first strike. Oh, that's kind of cool too. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Those are kind of neat. That's kind of neat. Kind of dig that. Yeah. And then... The attacking blocking thing? Yeah. The little bird new players. It's nice that they include that. I like yes. It. Yes, indeed. All right, so... We'll save the lands for last. Yes. Because those are kind of slippery. Yeah, they are. They are slippery. And I will put the I'm actually going to put this this way. You're not going to invade my space? I'm going to try not to. That's something new. Wow, it is, isn't it? <laughs> okay. You want to do you want to do it at the same time? Yeah, it seems to go a little faster that way. If I can even get into my pocket. Sometimes they tear easy, sometimes they just bite me. I'm sure it's me, though. Yeah. <laughs> I love how you just agree. <laughs> You're a horrible person. Okay. Okay, so I have Adventurous Paladin. I have an Almighty Bushwag. I have a Reeve Soul. Those are really good. Yeah, I know. Did you read it? Um, I, I think we got some of those in um, the Jumpstart packs. I think. Huh? Trample. Almighty Bushwag gets plus three, plus three until end of turn. I have one. Seven dwarfs. <laughs> Four. <laughs> I have Hampering Snare. Steel, Gaze, Griffin. Dead weight. Ruth, Thorn, Halibur. Cathartic Reunion. Opt. Ooh, gotta love Opt. I have a bunch of those, but I really love that card. Yep. Wingfold, Terran. True Love's Kiss. Look at the art on that. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, that's really cool. Right? I dig it. I dig it a lot. Glimmerbell. Glimmerbell. Insatiable appetite. Insatiable apple appetite. Appetite? Right. <laughs> you... That's interesting. Yeah, ain't it? <laughs> Who do you know that has the insatiable appetite? You. Right, exactly. Essence symbiote. Mist Ford River Turtle. Checkpoint officer. Skull knocker orc. Fertilid? Fertilid? Thalmire knight. Ooh, I like it. I like that a lot. Not a bad card either. Witch's oven. <laughs> yeah, we all know what that does. Zenith flare. The magic mirror. Ooh, pretty. Foil Castle Ventress. Oh, neat. Primal Empathy. Unbreakable Bond. A forest. And then on an adventure, the explanation of how adventures work. Wow, this is great. Shark Typhoon. <laughs> I told you about the Shark Nado decks. That's awesome locatorwizards.com or on an adventure. I don't know what this is, but I like it already. It's Cheville Bane of Monsters and it's yes. foil. Cheville is nice. That is really cool. Yes. And, and then, the ooh, Rugged Highlands. 
I like, I like. And then no table required. No table required. <laughs> and I probably should have separated one of You want me to go ahead and scan those? Or you want, want to keep it open? Um, maybe you should scan all of them at the end. That might be good. Right. That would be easier. Mm-hmm. I have a no table required. Mm-hmm. And it is slightly damaged. Oh, no. Better that card than the rest. Right, there's a line across it. Oh. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Crazy. <laughs> Glad it was that card and not one of the... Not one of the other ones? I have Switten, uh, Smitten Sword Master. Memory Leak. Rimrock Knight. Tent tentative Connection. Unexplained Vision. Light of Hope. Lost Legion. Of One Mind. Silver Flame Ritual. Dark Bargain. Spore Cat Spider. Patega Tiger. Merfolk Secret Keeper. Cloud Piercer. Prized Griffin. Honey Mammoth. Crystal Slipper. Ooh, I like this card. Vulpy Keat. Wow. That's, that's really, really nice. Pretty. I love the art yeah, on that one. Yeah, that's really, really pretty. That's crazy. Yeah, I think I'm going to take that back and say Ikoria is my favorite. Uh... I told you. I tried <laughs> to tell you. <laughs> Savai Crystal. Roving Keep. Reconnaissance Mission. Righteousness. This is a really good one, and I love that they reprinted it. You know what righteousness does. No, I do not. It's a defense card. Target blocking creature gets plus seven, plus seven until end of turn. Oh, that's that's damn good. Yeah, it was one of the original cards. Nice. Clash of Titans. Revenge of Ravens. Check that one out. Revenge of Ravens. Whenever a creature attacks you or a planeswalker you control, that creature's controller loses one life and you gain one life. Wow. Interesting. Yep. This is kind of a pretty card. Gigantha the Wellspring. Yes. Beautiful. Oh my. And a very pretty foil. Everquill Phoenix. Wow. Look That's at the Everquill gorgeous. Phoenix. And very it's a rare. Pretty. Wow. Very, nice. very pretty. That's a good pull right there. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I don't that. know how much it's worth, but it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. And then, of course, a basic mountain. Park in a cell. Dinosaur token. Linden, the steadfast queen. Hmm. And then a place. Brimstone trebuchet. Gotten into mine yet. Crushing drawbridge. Tempting witch. Rose thorn. Echo. Didn't say please. Counter target spell. Its controller puts the top three cards in our library into their graveyard. Nice. Yeah, even more. Counter and milling. Right, counter and milling. Frenzied Raptor. Ooh, and it's trying to fly back out at me. Yeah, they like to float. Frost Links. Arden Bill Paladin. Bloom Pangolin. Dwarven Mine. Pyroceratops. Weapon Rack. Evolving Wilds. That's a pretty version of that card. Call of the Beanstalk. Convolute. Archon of Absolution. Ram Through. Trail of Thrones. Mained Serval. Cauldron Familiar. <laughs> you don't know what that's going to do, do you? <laughs> yes. Which is oven? Which is oven. Ooh, pretty. Castle, Finder. Castle of Avondale. Scalding Cauldron Foil. Titan Noth Rex. Island. Regal Leosar. Dwarf. Fall of the Death Dweller. Yadaro Wandering Monster. And then a foil almighty bushwag. Wow, foil bushwag. 
Ooh, and dismal black water. Ooh. Yeah, I'm, I'm digging. Dismal Icoria. black water is nice. I'm digging Icor. I'm digging Icoria a lot. I tried to tell you, no table required. <laughs> MTG Arena. And it says the same thing on both sides. Red Cat Riders. Water Fox. Of one mind. Foreboding fruit. Dead weight. Thrill of possibility. Lava Serpent. Wishful Merfolk. Plummet. Outflank. Capture Spear. Memory Thief. Serrated Scorpion. Watchwing Gargoyle. Excavation Mole. Hoonville Trefa. <laughs> Snare Tactician. Metal of Tides. Mosscote Gorak. Inquisitive Puppet. No, that's kind of cool. I love the art on that. Yeah, that's really cool. I think they had that in one of the um, layers, secret layer boxes. I think they have an inquisitive puppet in one of them, but I'm not sure. Patagia Tiger. Seer Kara the Bold. Ominous Seas. Wonder Mare. Monstrous Step. Gilded Goose. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I'll definitely use that in my day. Proud Wild Bonder. What? Yorion Sky Nomad. You got a Yuri on? Mm-hmm. Holy crap. That's a good pull. Is it? Yeah, that's a very, that's a very good card. Do you know what it does? No, I did not. Let me see. It bounces on this. Companion, your starting deck contains at least 20 cards more than the minimum deck size. Flying. When Yorion enters the battlefield, exile any number of other non-land permanents you own and control. Return those cards to the battlefield at the beginning of the next end step. Huh. Interesting. So it, it bounces all the stuff back and forth. Very nice. Scoured Barons. What? And a cat bird. Cat bird. Cat bird. That's kind of an interesting token. Like a cockamouse? <laughs> okay. Unexplained vision. Arrow witches. Read the back. Red cat. Steel gaze griffin. Or cat spider. Merfolk secret keeper. Bride griffin. Shredded sails. Crystal slipper. Sleeper dart. Roving keep. Gust of wind. Rose storm echo. Corpse churn. Another inquisitive puppet. Forbidden friendship. Order of Midnight. I love that card. And that's a that's an Ooh, alternative. Beautiful. Model. Yeah. Beautiful. Creature, human knight. Return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. And what does that do? It allows me to bring back my cards from the graveyard. Which, it allows you to draw. And especially, especially the um, terror. And if you play it as a creature, it has flying and order of midnight can't block. Right. That's the drawback. It can't block. Wonder Man. Garrison Cat. Fires of Invention. This is a good card. This is a really good one. <laughs> Enchantment. You can cast spells only during your turn, and you can cast no more than two spells each turn. You may cast spells with converted mana costs less than or equal to the number of lands you control without paying more mana costs. Right. Nice. Which also gives you the ability to play spells and stuff later. Look at this alternate art cloud piercer. Isn't oh, that wow. Pretty? That is beautiful. That is gorgeous. Sudden spinnerets. I got it. I got it. I have a swamp, and I have no table required. <laughs> you can play Magic the Gathering Arena if you're 12 years old in Europe, but I think you have to be 13. 14. It says teen. Teen. U.S. and Canada. Yes, indeed, Jim. Day Squad Marshall. 
Sprite Dragon. Wow, this one's like me too. <laughs> Reptilian Reflection. Easy Prey. Lava Brink Venturer. Wow. Yeah, some of them bite. This one is like super good. Helica Glider, and it's a foil. Pretty. Basic Island, and a Human Soldier Token. Welcome to a new world. Twitch TV slash magic. Human Cleric? Wow, that one's like... Beat up. A little bit. A little bit. Rimrock Knight, that one's beat up too. Watchwing Paladin. Raging Red Cap. Festive Funeral. Fordor Monitor. Barter Cow. Galdinger Cauldron. Giant Skewer. Wildwood Tracker. Joust. Rampart Smasher. Oakham Adversary. Acclaimed Contender. Foil Forest. Ooh, pretty. And a small. Anticipate. Night Squad Commando. Cathartic Reunion. Almighty Bushwag, Hampering Snare, Dodie Cards, Memory Leak, Thwart the Enemy, Imposing Vantasaur, Blood Curdle, Honey Mammoth, Will of the All Hunter, Avian Oddity, Cunning Night Bonder, Zerda the Dawn Waker, and Bloodfell Caves. Bloodfell Cave. Yeah, I'm digging So that. I want to reiterate if you do get cards that are damaged, which I mean, this one's kind of silly because it's a token, but you know, if you're a collector and you want to get replacements, this card is an example. Um, the corner there is kind of jacked up on both sides. Yeah, it got a little bent. Got a little bent. And that's like packed fresh and it bent. And this one also, the Rim Rock Knight, the corner's kind of messed up right there. And then there's like a big line across the back. I don't know how well you can see that with the lighting, but it's got like an indent. But, but thankfully, they're very good about replacing cards. Yeah, Wizards of the Coast is very good about replacing cards. Um, so you can send these back. Um, I typically will collect, like, all the cards that I need to send back. As long as they're not out of print status within, like, a year or whatever it was of when they printed them, um, they will replace them. If they're out of print, then you can't get them replaced. And I think, like... Maybe War of the Spark and a couple other ones might probably be out of print by now, but I'll have to check, like, the replacement status. But, uh, typically, if I do get any damage like this, I, I'll collect them in a pile and then mail them back. And they replace it. Or a declarant. Lash of Thorns, Brimstone Trebuchet, Heal Gaze Griffin, Run Away Together, that's a good card. Yeah, that's cute. It bounces your creature and theirs. Prickly Marmoset. Fortifying Provisions. Startling, de startling Development. Tomb Raider. Bloom Pangolin. Golden Egg. Frenzied Raptor. Gar Garen Brig Squire. 
Evolving sorry. Wilds. Opt. Facet Reader. Tournament Grounds. Main Serval. Siege of the Falls. Ooh, pretty alt art Dreamtail Heron. Drowned in the Lock. That's a good one. Ooh. Counter target spell with converted mana costs less than or equal to the number of cards in its controller's graveyard, or destroy target creature with converted mana costs less than or equal to the number of cards in its controller's graveyard. Laden the Steadfast Queen. Survivor's Bond. Forest. Spontaneous Flight. And a food token. Horn Bash Mentor. Rooting Moloch. Chittering Harvester. Skyruda Doom of Depth. And a Basic Swamp. And a Dinosaur Token. Reeve Soul. Merchant of the Vale. Myra Leaf Rider. Eleven Noble. Beloved Apprentice. Bling. Mystic Sanctuary. Return to Nature. Moonlit Scavengers. Silver Flame Ritual. Raleigh. For Throne, Seer Baron the Hedgehammer, Shine Chaser, ooh, another Gilded Goose. Nice. Yeah, I like that, I can play this. Mountain and Knight. Unlikely Aid, Blazing Volley, Blade Vanish, Keep Safe, Dark Bargain, Blister Spit Gremlin, Rumbling Rock Slide, Fully Grown, Tech Point Officer, Boot Nipper. Boot Nipper's good. Mm -hmm. Storm Wild Caprador. Did you read Boot Nipper? Uh, boot Nipper enters the battlefield with your choice of Death Touch counter or Life Link counter on it. Blood Haze Wolverine. General's Enforcer. Unexplained Vision. Lord Dracus. Smitten Swordmaster. Vivian, Monster's Advocate. Idyllic Grange. Bloodfell Caves. Weapon Rack. And a Companion Token. Curious Pair. I would say something about the Curious Pair and the Weapon Rack, but I'll keep it close enough. <laughs> Didn't say please. <laughs> Silver Flame Squire. I Collector. This is a good one, too. It's kind of good. Mm. Flying. Whenever I Collector deals combat damage to a player, each player puts the top part of their library into their graveyard. Yep. Animating Fairy. Elite Headhunter. Greater Sandworm. Sir Allen the Lion's Claw. Thieving Otter. Bay of Wishes. Nice. Mutual Destruction. Prize Griffin Foil. Spell Eater Wolverine. Island. Adaptive Shimmer. And a Human Token. Bay's Dolphin. Wilt. Divine Arrow. Essence Scatter. Flycatcher Griffid. Giraffid? Giraffid. Wingspan Mentor. Porcu Parrot. Porcu Parrot. Flourishing Fox. Winota Joiner of Voice Forces. Oof. Mountain. Windscarred Crag. And a Dinosaur Beast Token. And you said one up. Yes. <laughs> so we'll hang on to this for giveaway for pack. Giveaway. Packed
Yeah, your your pack over there? Your paper? Yeah, down here. Oh. Alrighty. So, we have a core 2021. You want to, you want me to scan these? Might as well. That way we can put them away. Okay. Did you want to open this one? Sure. The corsets are always good. The what now? Corsets. Oh yeah, I love the corsets. Why well, bought two booster boxes in the corset? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Violent. I don't know why, but the plastic is extra thick on this side. Oh, and I will set these here. So we can... Why me? And actually, I'm just sort of little first. I don't know, I kind of like all the set. They're all really, really pretty. Yeah, they're kind of neat. My hair does A lot of really nice art. Everything. Yeah, same here. The perils of having long hair. Apparently. So, let's take a look at this beautifulness. Ooh, I do like the dice that came with this one. Pretty. Beautiful blue. I love the fact that I got a couple of builder goose in that one. Yes. I do know you use those. Yep, most definitely. I never have enough gooses. This is this is this. All right, so let's get started with the torso. Ooh, that's got some nice lands in it, too. Neat. How to cast spells. How do you cast spells? Spells have a mana cost in the upper right corner. To cast a spell, tap your lands for mana. The spell costs a total of four mana. And then they have a picture. Cool. It's nice that they uh, put they in those little them. info right. cards. Yeah, because some people don't know if they're new. Yep. And these uh, bundles are particularly good for beginners. So, very nice. Starting out with a bird token and a mountain. Oh, this is kind of backwards. Oh, well, we'll roll with it. So, Speaker of the Heavens, Alpine Houndmaster, Silver Smoke Duel, Faith's Fetters, Mistral Singer, Shock. Gotta love a shock. Infernal scarring. Well, she slide across the 
kitchen floor and catch the refrigerator. <laughs> Saber tooth mauler. Titanic growth. Bloom sower. Opt. Revitalize. Thrill of possibility. Ooh, and then cancel with one of my favorite arts for cancel. Yes, yes, indeed. Very nice. Okay, I'm going to truth this for these. We have a construct token, scoured barons, ooh, and a cute foil rambunctious mutt, Garak unleashed, that's nice, archfiend's vessel, griffin airy, I play that, I know you do, lore scale, different deck, total, total, Wall of Runes, Hunter's Edge, Tefiri's Protege, Grasp of Darkness, Titanic Growth, Death Bloom Thalid, Revitalize, Hobble Fiend, and another Cancel. Yeah, the Rona Valdrian Island is 23 cents. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Sapperling token. Ooh, really pretty island. Take a look at that. Wow, that's gorgeous. Nice. I like me some pretty mana cards. Conspicuous. Conspicuous Snoop. Meteorite. The Magic Mirror is 268. Oh, nice. Sanctum of Fruitful Harvest. Leafkin Avenger. Rousing Reed. Castle Envenel, 180. Nice. Radiant Fountain. Guild of Goose is 190. Run Afoul. Pitchburn Devils. Legion's Judgment. Rousing Tyranon, Tyranodon, Ooh. Liliana Steward, Valorous Steed, Igneous Cur. That's kind of cool. I like the artwork for that. Lofty Denial. Zombie token, swift water cliffs, Paravec the spiteful, Chandra's pyreling, obsessive stitcher, <laughs> volcanic geyser, short sword, finishing blow. I'm loving some of the artwork. Truffle Snout. Truffle Snout. Radiant Fountain. Spell Gorger Weird. The flavor text on Truffle Snout say Hakuna Matata? <laughs> I don't think so. Nope. Should. Sure. Snare Spinner. Rise Again. Secure the Scene. Destructive Tampering. Read the tides. Ground on the lock of the uncommon at three dollars fifty four cents. Nice. Badri Ket emblem card. Swamp, a foil seasoned hollow blade, 
Conspicuous Snoop. Selfless Savior. Siege Striker. Eliminate. Anointed Forester. Roaming Ghost Light. Gnarled Sage. Colossal Dreadmaw. Rise Again. Celestial Enforcer. Onoke Ogre. Capture Spear. And Rambunctious Mutt. I love the artwork for that. Jungle Hollow. Jungle Hollow? Foil Forgotten Sentinel. Jackalgeist. Rewind. Rewind's awesome. Sanctum of Shattered Heights. Warden of the Woods. Return to Nature. Chandra's Magmut. Mistral Singer, Dub, Ranger's Guile, Bloom Sower, Valorous Steed, Rill of Possibility, and another Capture Spear. Didn't say please, is a 24 cent. Hmm. 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 Oh, thank you for following. Yes, indeed. Thank you for the follow. A goblin wizard token. The planes. Goblin wizard token. Speaker of the heavens. Jeskai Elder, Seasoned Hollow Blade, Kinetic Aug Augur, Duress, Prismite, Lanawar Visionary, Masked Blackguard, Fuhrer of the Bitten, Porticulus Vine, Fetid Imp, Burn bright, like the art for that. Frantic inventory and feet of resistance. Soldier token, Bloodfell Caves, Jolrail, <laughs> ooh, yeah, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Jolrail Morwalvul Recluse, Morwalvul. <laughs> Indulging Patrician. That is an awesome card. I need Re that one. Yeah, I know you do. In one of the decks, I... Oh. The phone crashed. It does that. Rin Wingmere. Wildwood Scourge. Caged Zombie. Sky Scanner. Rousing Reed. Duress. Life Goes On. Does it? Does life go on? Portcullis Vine. Liliana Stewart, really pretty version of that too. I like that. Turn to slag. Lofty denial. Feet of resistance.
It's nice that you're able to get that back without having to restart uh, OBS. Yeah, it's kind of a pain, but that's only because of the USB cable. Yeah. So a beast token, rugged highlands, a really cool foil igneous cur. Ooh, ruined halo. Do they have an igneous ring? Wow. Curd domain? Not a curd, a cur. Ruined Halo. I know you like that. Run away together. Tight Sail Freebooter. Oh, that's nice. Enthralling Hold. Oh, you should open every pack. Gourmand. Basri's Acolyte. Turret Ogre. You're getting all the good stuff. <laughs> well, it is a corset. Swift Response. Yeah, but you don't always get good stuff from the corset. Wall of Runes. Honorary Dilophosaur, Sanguine Indulgence, Goblin Wizardry, Spined Megalodon, and a Concordia Pegasus. Concordia Pegasus. And that is it for the core 2021 with saving one for giveaways. Saving one for giveaway. All right, I'm still scanning these. Go for it. Can you true fit these for me? I sure can. And here's uh, this pile for when you're ready. Vivian Monsters Advocate. Yeah, mm -hmm. I would use that. I use that in my deck.
Yeah, and this is how the companions used to work, but they don't work that way. Mm. Now you have to cast to put it in your hand and then cast it from your hand. Oh. Uh, they they uh, modified it. Because they are too powerful. Wow. I like that one. Mm hmm. Some really pretty cards. A squirrel. The Phoenix. Yeah, isn't it? That was a nice full. Yeah. Really pretty. Chevelle. That's nice, too. That's a double rare patch. Mm -hmm. I love when that happens. I do too. That's really nice. All right, so we'll go foil first. Mm -hmm. Mm, nice. Or anything. Not so shabby. Yeah. Like it's wrong. Wait two cents, but it's a foil. And it's also a full art. Yep. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, because this is an alternate art and everything, I think it might be a little different from <laughs> Almighty Bushwag. Almighty Bushwag. I mean, we choose that to fill up in the next lesson. Ch -ch 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 Correct. See, I got you doing it. Shark Typhoon is $9.90. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's funny. Sharknado. Sharknado. 151. Not horrible. It's a bird serpent. 135. 590. Nice. That's going to be a deck. 333. Not too shabby. Mm. 
79 cents. You can throw that one in. It's a pretty card, if nothing else. Right there, 156. That's used in a lot of bits. I use that on one of the other ducks. Some of those are some of those are really pretty. Mm -hmm. It's spooky. I'm trying to scan them too fast. Mm-hmm. A lot of wild ones. Just a cheap one. And some of the rare ones. Park Finder, I read that wrong. I was like, it's looking for what? There's an uncarded the finder of the flagellants. <laughs> Car finder. Plummet. Too many cards to scan. Too many cards to scan. I like all of the uh, the dual land, even if they're the common ones. Not the fun. Life gain. Very like, useful. I like the scry ones better. Why? Life one not bad. They're always good if they're in your opening hand. Mm 
anticipated. I can't believe that's only worth two cents. Bushwhack. Look okay a lot of the comments. I like that. Like having a variety of bullet. Another one. <laughs> Kind of strange that the lands are more valuable than some of the commons. Yeah. But I guess it's because, you know, everybody uses land. Not like you have a choice. And not everybody uses, like, a certain common. And the commons are a lot more, it's a lot more fun to the, of the commons. Of course, there should be about the same amount of land as all, there are commons. Shatter. Or scatter. Mm -hmm. Say scatter. Scatter. I've been saying that wrong all along. Not surprising. Twenty-two cents for a moment. <laughs> Seven cents for an hour. Nine cents for this one. Seven cents for that. We got a dinosaur. A catbird. Catbird. Twenty-one cent token. And a soldier. Ninety-seven cents for a dinosaur beast token. Look at it. So beast. <laughs> and then I'll do these. Boy, I'll take off the fly. Thirty cents. I think they're all there, I'm pretty sure they're of some value. You're oh. not sorry. All of them too, and then land, land. We opened up the other land packs, right? Mm-hmm. Well, she wrote for now. 
Alrighty, so we have been streaming for long time. Three hours and thirty-two minutes. That's not bad. No. Nope. Thought it would take a lot longer than that. Oh, I still have to scan the M twenty one there. I'll do that. Yeah, I'm interested to see that because there were some good pulls in that. You have the box thing you for the internal one of these. I think one of those was the one that went to that. Well, where's the one for the, um, this one? Yeah. I would imagine. Oh, I got an extra one over here, too. Okay. Never mind. So sick. I am sick. Oh, ruined Halo. Yeah, I said that like three times and you were ignoring me. What? Who? Wow. Looks so much different in arena looking at it versus like holding the card in your hand, touching it and handling it and ooh, ooh. I was thinking the stylized cards are not that special. I'm like, eh, when I play arena, but like having them like physically in your hand and holding them and touching them and looking at them, they are beautiful. Aren't they? They are gorgeous. Is there a cat? Near spinner. Oh. Yeah, there's a couple of them that I'm curious the price because, um, mm -hmm. some nice stuff in there. Even if they're not worth much, they're definitely playable. Wow, that was beautiful. Yeah, isn't it? I was hoping all the lands were going to look like that, but no. No. Only some. The older packs, there were certain lands that were really hard to get that were like almost rare. Um. I'm going to be sad when M21 rotates out. I know. That's a nice set. Give us some boom. Speaker of the heavens. Mm hmm. Yeah. 
throughout all the formula like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, not all of them. Few of them. So we'll do the foil first. Actually, now we'll see how much the foil is. 64 cents. Not bad. Dollar twelve, dollar forty two, not too ninety five, thirty eight cents, two dollars and fourteen cents, seventeen. Anything speed? Oh, a dollar twelve. We have two speakers in here. That was pretty good. Mm -hmm. Twenty-six. Okay, yeah. Twenty-two cents on Rune Halo. That's surprising. Yeah, it is. It's a very playable card. Yeah, I mean people don't it's underrated. The problem is it's only good for creatures. So you can't really protect against 39 cents on silver smith. Or silver's moat. Depending on how you want to pronounce it. Okay. Wow, I'm surprised that that's only uh, 7 cents. The thing's in a lot of decks. Seven. 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 Yeah, I've seen that one a lot. The selfless savior. Mm -hmm. Eleven eight. Thirty six. Three one. Twenty six. Patricia, 48 for indulging. I'm pretty sure they're coming up with much. No, not likely. A lot of reprinted yeah. stuff. 19 cents on a shot. Oh. Four. Attack rule. Nine. Two. My life, I use that. Mm-hmm. Indeed, indeed. Real possibility a lot of people use 
right click, so let's get a bonus. Grasp of darkness, 21 cents. Kill it. Oh, that's what I'm going to do. Four cents. Scan it as well. Okay. Buckalots. Cannot. Congrats. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Yes, Andre. You are a dork. One cent. Which is open. I love the scene in uh, Adam's family where Morticia's reading Hansel and Gretel to the children. That's cute. Right, exactly. And they all cry. Right. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> For which? For which? Now, how do you think that felt, children? <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> um. Why wouldn't you try? I wouldn't want to shove it in there. Especially my own oven. Yep. Which is mine in her own business. Yep, and these horrible children come along and start eating her house. Right. I mean, come on. And then the next thing you know, they shove her in an oven. Yep. It's just, it's just bad. That poor witch. Poor witch. You know the two uh the two people that are brother and sister that sing? Oh yeah. That's that's what I imagine him some brother look like. Mm. What are their names? Donnie and Marie. Donnie and Marie Osmond, that's right. Hansel and Gretel. Like every time I see them I'm like that's that's what that's what Hansel and Gretel would look like. But I think, like, Hansel, isn't that, like, a very common name? Like, Steve? I'm really not sure, to be honest. I thought Hansel was like... Are you scared of this? Am I crazy? No, I think I just got a lot of, uh, repeats. Yes, yeah, not available. That's what I said. No, 21. I just wonder if it's, if it's like an uncommon mix in that somehow. And... Either I already did or I already didn't. Why would there be a Minland? 
And those you can, if you want to, you can showcase. Because they are pretty. They are gorgeous. We like the pretty. Really pretty. Sort of later. Sort of later. These are. These are looking mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to keep them in separate. And this is. I'm not sure what that symbol is, but. Yeah, that's. Uh, whatchamacallit. 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 This one. Thornville Drain. Ah. Uh. Every time I hear the name Thornbell Drain, like I want to think of like uh, Princess Bride. It's like Latrine. Latrine! Thornbell Drain! Right? The Kingdom Chair? Sure. And I got a whole bunch of these. A whole bunch of those? Yeah, we'll just stick. Wow, the different thicknesses. Well, one of them is the one that came in the box, and the, those are ones that came in the pack. Oh, the cardboard one came in the box, and the mm -hmm. one that, oh, so they're different. Mm -hmm. Oh, one and one and two. Bizarre. Interesting. Very. And we're saving a pack for mm -hmm. a giveaway later. Yep. And that's all she wrote. That's it. Alrighty. So we have been streaming for three hours and 49 minutes now. We have five dice. We have five different sets. I got to shove these in a box. Shove them in a box. And then we should be done. Hey, why don't you shove them in a box? I'm going to shove them in the box. I like those dice. I like those dice a lot. I do like the dice. I do like the dice. These lot. dice right. make me happy. So we have M21. Which is right there. Right there. That's gonna be a tight squeeze. So let me pull them in. It's gonna be a super tight squeeze to shove them in the box. So we have regular. I'll keep ja my comments to myself. Japanese. Say again. Nothing. Wait. Drop on me. Stealing all my large dice? Yes. They're my dice. <laughs> so, now that you've opened up the other one, well, actually, you haven't got into these yet. Because these are ours. I still have that booster box of ours. What do you think about the Japanese? You want to mix them together with the others, or you want to keep the Japanese separate? Mm, I'd rather keep them separate. I think until you understand what every card does, and then you can yeah. play in Japanese. <laughs> sure. Or you can start learning to read Japanese now. Yes. Right. Right. That's a lot. Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. I think we did pretty good. That's a way too much. I can't get it. I can't get it. I can't get it. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. They don't want to do it. Yeah, yeah that's why. And just fighting you? Yeah. They do. <gasps> Seven dwarves! I don't know how many dwarves I have. Let's see how many seven dwarves I have. I need at least seven of them. Um, 
Alright, so this goes there. This goes there. Slide those. Woof! Woof! What? Did the wolf say woof woof? Too many in there. Mystery. Mystery. And then 21. Oh, that's a tight fit. Jump start. 21. That's a really tight fit. Okay. So I'm going to have to pull out Zendikar. And then I'm going to have to stick the other one in here. Yep, we're definitely going to end up in the other empty box. So once we start opening the booster boxes, it's going to be crazy, crazy. So I need a empty box. You want to slide the other stuff over? This in here. Put these in here. There should be two more. Somewhere. Somewhere. Not in there. Got one in this one. I like these bottles too. They're very handy. They are and pretty. Very nice. I use them. I use them mainly for the sleeves because you know, box full of sleeves. I will put these. Mm -hmm. I hid your dice. I hid your dice. And more dice. How dare you? And then this one goes here. And that one technically goes there. But we're good to go. So I'm going to look and see if there's somebody that we can raid who is playing Magic or so. And then we are off. I can spell right. No, no, no. Same man, though. Nice. So, thank you everyone for watching. Actually, switch. 
Thank you everyone for watching. Uh, we appreciate you stopping by. Uh, those of you who are looking at the video later, uh, we also appreciate you taking a look at the video. Uh, we open a bunch of cards and stuff. I still have a bunch of booster boxes to open and we will be doing that probably next stream uh, or so, depending on how long it takes to open a whole booster box. Um, but anyway, we are going to raid Sandman and be hosting him for a minute. So if you would like, give him a follow, check him out. Really good friend of mine, also moderator in my channel. Uh, thank you so much for watching and see you on the flip side. Hello everyone, The Punisher here. Do you like playing Magic the Gathering? Do you want to play in tournaments or in the league? Do you want to win cool prizes? Well, subscribers to mine or the Ultima Ratios channel have the opportunity to win cool prizes. And if you're not a current subscriber to either channel, you can play in the league or in tournaments to win a subscription to our channels to win cool prizes. That way you can play Magic the Gathering tournaments at home to be ultimate. <laughs> How dare you, Brazen Borrower? I will have to recast. <laughs> Brand new Ugin. Wow. Hitting me for three, wow. Yeah, the deck has like everything that it needs to do, everything that it needs to do. Look at it, look, look at all the blaze walkers. Look at all the blaze walkers. Look at all the blaze walkers. Thank you for being a good sport of uh, the Punisher for letting us continue to do the shenanigans. Of course, man. <laughs> Like that deck went completely off. Like it's. He's gonna try. Let's see what happens. I don't have anything that I can do against that. I have one land, like literally one land. There's like nothing I can do. Let's see if we can win with no cards left in our library. All right, next one. Two, three, six. Can we attack for just exactly seven? Three, exactly seven damage. No cards in our library, seven damage. <laughs> You're probably grabbing a drink all through this. No cards in library. Let me say thank you to him. Yeah, that was pretty amazing. That was fun. We got to live the ultimate, ultimate dream. We don't always get to do it. We don't always get to have all the fun. But when we do get to have the fun, it feels, it feels invigorating, you know? And I'm just glad that, that the Punisher is a good sport and let us continue. Because there are people who will just be like, all right, concede, you're, you're looping off. But they let us they let us go through the the fundamentals of what the deck does.